Are you looking for some new clients? You want to help us out? I want to make a band called The New Girl. I want to make a band called The New Girls on the Block. I think that's really innovative. We can uh, let's sing when we sing it, but we won't really sing it when we can dance a lot. Okay, I, would, I need the oh, five wait. of you to be in the group. Yeah, but the five of us? You're going to have to act like you all hate each other. That's the thing for this group. Okay, I, I think that, that should be pretty easy. Okay, why don't you it. practice, though? Practice? I hate you! I hate you! How was that? Yeah, we keep working. <laughs> Call at 777-2137 if you want to talk to the Spice Girls. Yeah, I have a question for ponytail fight. Yeah. If you would not spend money on a Spice Girls album, why would you spend money on a Debbie Gibson album? Uh, Cause I like Debbie Gibson. She's talented. She's actually one of the Spice Girls. I think it's hang-ups from Ponytail Spice Girls music. What's your biggest hang-up? My biggest hang-up? You know it is. My biggest hang-up is when I'm talking to Anna on the radio and I get a few from my phone. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah, I'd like to make a fitting dedication to the Spice Girls. Crab Go ahead. By Lords of Acid. I don't know if Lords of Acid uh, can be played on the Spice Girls show. They don't like the, the Spice Girls. Oh, come on. It's a perfect dedication for them. Maybe, maybe we could play Spice Girls for you. How about that? All right. What about uh, Wannabe? What's that? Want us to play Wannabe by the Spice Girls? Nah, that song, I don't like that song. Why not? It's a good song. No, no. Crap well, it's the best. Well, I'm, a, I'm afraid Lords of Acid... Uh, Just keep out all the bad parts. Uh, that's going to be a little hard. It's, it's kind of got some bad language. I don't know if we can do that. that. That's a clean song. You played it last week. I didn't play it last week. Somebody else might have, and it's not a clean song. Alrighty, thanks a lot. This place goes a very keen on put language. For example, you know that manky? We say manky, we mean gross. We say mate, we mean bud. We say sod it, we mean forget it. So just sod it, okay? We say dick, we mean sassy. Yeah, we're over there in England. We say football, we mean soccer. We say bum, we mean butt. Body, zip it. Gut it. Totally bum. Everyone out there, you guys don't realize how talented we are that we can sit here and totally mask our British accents <laughs> with American <laughs> accents. So you gotta call us. 777-2137, talk to the Spice Girls. We are hot and sexy. <laughs> we yeah, and of course. The outfit, so it's so impressed the words. Well, we've got it. We've got it all. That I usually wear hot pants on the first But once, just once, I was at a rehearsal and I was wearing a bikini bottom. We were on stage, listen to this man. There were loads of photographers in the front row. To this day, they use a picture of me with my skirt hitched up and a saggy bikini beneath it. Can you believe that? The one day I didn't wear hot pants.
Call the Spice Girls at 777-2137. If you're on campus, 2137. They promise not to bite. In Taiwan, when we went on tour in Taiwan, Jerry and I had to play like this stupid game on a TV program, you know. And we had big elastic bands tied to our wrists and our ankles. It sounds a little kinky, huh? And we had to run forward and try to hug each other. Now it sounds really kinky. After we'd done it, I was trying to be like, funny and all, and I leaning forward and stretching the elastic behind me, but I lost my balance and fell smack on my head. Get on the air, Carla, we want to talk to you. We're lonely. Oh my god, am I? I want to hear Super Chunk. That's it? You know, you say hi? No, I, I can barely hear you. I can't hear you at all, actually. Okay, can you hear me now? Sort of. Sort of? So Hello. can you say hi? Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are oh, you? Oh, good. Very good. Are you on campus right now? No, I'm at work. Oh, that sucks. So I was going to invite you to come over and hang out in the studios with us. Yeah, I'm on duty call. Well, you got on the air, so I, I think we can talk about uh, DJ, the DJ Mike and uh, letting you play some Super Chunk. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You have a good afternoon. I gotta get back. Home. What song do you want to hear? Uh, anything that's Jesus written by them. Anything that's written by them? Are you sick of the Spice Girls? Oh, no, never oh okay, again. okay. I, I was getting worried there for a little bit. Where do you work? Parlor City Smoke Shop. What? Parlor City Smoke Shop. Is it fun? It's alright. <laughs> Where is that located exactly? 46 Court Street. I want to know. Ah. I was just kept coughing the whole time I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, they're looking for the Super Chunk right now for you. Okay. Uh, he's going to do it? Yeah, he's going to do it. Alright, All right, thanks for calling up. Okay. Alright. Bye. All right. When Mr. Satan knocks at my heart door, I just say no, 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 no. Um, I'd like to make a request. What? Um, I, I think I'll satisfy the other listener also. <laughs> um, it's a Super Chunk song. <laughs> it's Super Chunk's cover of If You Want to Be My Lover. <laughs> it's a really good cover. It sounds pretty authentic. <laughs> All right, first, first we're gonna have to play a different Super Chunk song, but then we'll get. No, no, that's the, the best Super, super Chunk song. song if you want to be my lover. All right, in one minute, I promise. Huh. We're, we're gonna start a different one, then we'll move right into it. All right. Okay. I have a question for Marcy Spice. What? Yes! Should I say yes or should I say no? Say no, no, no! Say yes! Say yes! Say yes! Does that answer your question? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now you're at company. What? Say no when no is the answer that you should give. Do you need help in learning to say no? Say in here and give you some great advice. Your time and energy are valuable to you.
Ibu tuh. I'm afraid they're gonna bomb the studio. <laughs> <laughs> they would just do it because they're jealous of our extreme talent and uh, fame, fortune, popularity, good luck, and our great name. Super Chunk with one of these. Need some more collars when I'm calling in here. I'm looking for an Endicott fight. Are you out there? Call us 777-2137. We need people to talk to the Spice Girls. And if you're on campus, just come on by the studios and say hi. Normally, really, this is our only time we're ever going to be here in Binghamton. If you don't want an opportunity like this, go. It's just not. Better show up. That's all I'm saying here. All right, we need some people to call 777-2137. Talk to the Spice Girls. And if you're really nice and you have a lot of interesting things to say, we might actually play a song you like. But I know that's going to be hard for you because no one likes any song more than they like. You want to be my lover. So give me a call. She thinks it's completely disgusting. When she saw it, she said, get that out of your mouth. Now. All my life I've said what I think, whether it's gotten me in trouble or not. I can't help expressing my opinion. It's who I am. I'm very straight and direct. We went on this children's TV program, and I was wearing very, like, very high heels. As I was singing my line, I tripped and landed flat on the floor. That seems to happen to us a lot. The Ori's are, are out on stage and falling on the floor. Just enough right now? They don't get their songs placed if they're not nice to us.
Just, just call it seven 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 two one three seven again, and we'll you know we'll we'll put you on. Sorry about that. Whoever that was, sorry. I like my bum. It's very comfortable to sit on because it's nice and round. My feet are a bit manky, and all the girls take the piss out of them. <laughs> but you learn to appreciate what you've got. Imperfection is the sign of individuality. Call 777-2137 if you want to hear the punch drunk monkey. Shoes are incredibly important. Incredibly important. If I see a good looking guy with terrible shoes, I am totally put off. A true lady has sex when she wants to have sex, not when she feels she's being pushed into it. Good advice from the Spice Girls. You're listening to WHRW Binghamton. Just call it 777-2137. I've heard of the word sweat. Well, but I've never experienced it. You want to make a request? You want to say that you're getting sick of the Spice Girls? Just give us a call. 777-2137. If I were going to dress like anyone else, it would be Jerry. She's so annoying. I'll spend $1,000 on a jacket. They're paying us way too much. Then she'll show me an even nicer one that she got for only $2. Everyone knows. We have a we have a guest here who wants to talk to us. Alright, we're gonna have an interview for the spice girl. Here's call seven 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 two one three seven. Here is someone else. You see how much fun it is to come in. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Can I talk to the spice girls, please? Where, where are the Spice Girls? Oh my girls? god, the Spice Girls, they're here! I oh wow, the they're, they're even cuter in person. It's, it's unbelievable! Where, where are these Spice Girls? I don't understand. What's going on here? <laughs> no, seriously, you know, what's going on here? Hello? I have a question for the Spice Girls. What? Are you a frequent commuter of the information superhighway? <laughs> no, but I have a tapeworm. I'm a frequent commuter of the information superhighway. Are you? Yes, I am. Oh, how frequently do you can commute spice, on it? Can the Spice Girls give me useful and useless information? Yes, they can. Uh, we'd have to know some information first, wouldn't we? No. Do you have melanoma or other form of skin cancer? Is the weather bad? Who the hell is this? <laughs> Okay, you can put your clothes back on now. I won't look. Come on, you're not gonna look. The Spice Girls have their very own homepage. Yeah, it's. I really like actually having our own homepage. It's really cool, you know. Now people all over the world they can just look up all the wonderful information that there is about us. It's right on the information superhighway. Knocks at my heart's door. I Chinese food. Say Egg no, fried rice. No. Prawn crackers. Say yes. Prawn. Say yes. yes. Say yes. Say yes. Your views say are important. Yes. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. As you all know, we're known for our TV chatter. Yes. Say yes. Say yes. Does anything look yes. weird? Say no. Yes. There's no, no mirror in the uh, studios yes. here, so we can't take off our clothes and check no. out all one. our deformities. Yes. But as you know, no. One. Yes. Say no, 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 no. I always say no, no. when yes is the answer I should give. But you learn to appreciate what you've got. Imperfection is a sign of individuality. So when they're telling you to look at yourself in the mirror and find your imperfection, they're just telling you not to be an individual. Imperfection is a form of individuality. Patterson. Are you a frequent commuter of the information superhighway? Patterson. Some guys think I'm stuck up before they meet me. Are you preoccupied with thoughts about food? Firm brulee, because I've got a very sweet tooth. Is this your biggest hang up? My white baby doll dress goes with everything. Sunshine, mountain, 
Is anybody out there? I might be, but I'm not telling. So are, are those are those the Spice Girls out there? Is that what those are? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, uh, what do you what do you do? What what is actually being a Spice Girl mean? What what's the point? It was a bit of a nightmare because he had really horrible lips. Yuck. Yeah, but but what about being a Spice Girl? My legs are like bloke's legs. Uh huh. But the Spice Girl thing. What what's that all about? Oh. My right arm. It's got my tattoos on it. One says girl power, but actually women's strength in Japanese characters. That's what being a Spice Girl is about. Girl power. I, I have a tattoo. Have a tattoo. No, 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 no. I am on a girl power mission, and I'm not interested in boys right now. Oh, oh, you don't like, you don't boys. like boys? I'm quite a smile sweetly and flutter my eyelashes kind of girl. I'll give him a grin and walk away, and then come back a bit later. I like to flutter, I like to my, flutter eyelashes. my eyelashes. Those girls, Those they, girls love, they that. love that. Oh, they do. When I see someone I like, I just go up to him. First a bit of eye contact to check out if he's looking at me. Then I go in for the kill. Are you actually, Are you like, actually like serious? serious? Are you looking, Are you at, looking me right at me now? right now? I, 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 like, I, that. I like that. <laughs> Alright, the other Spice Girls having a, an attack right now. <laughs> so. What, what, what's, what, happening? what's happening? Is it a wild is it a boar? Wild boar? Um, so boys are attacking the Spice Girls. It's nuts. It, it's we, crazy. We gotta get a security guard. To, I'll, I'll beat up on him for you. Will you really? Oh yes, I'll oh, yes, defend your, your honor. Oh, that's so sweet. The honor of the girl, honor power. girl power. Do you know I always make sure I embarrass the others before they can embarrass me? Aren't I nice? I didn't know I that. Didn't know that. And now you do. Oh goody. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. I, I love it. <laughs> You know, you don't have to be a particular shape to be sexy. I'm round. I'm oh, round. God. That's a good shape. <laughs> it's not like a square. It's not like a square. What is it? Like a circle? Very much. Call Very 777 2137. For me, a relationship is much more likely to develop from a friendship with a guy. I'd rather be a buddy type than a cute chick. Do you, you want to be my friend? Do you, you want to be my friend? I want to be everyone's friend. There's enough of me to get around. Could, which Spice Girl are you? Which Spice Girl are you? Oh, I am um, Mel B. Scary Spice. Oh, uh, are you scary? Uh, are you scary? Only in a good way. I'm scared. I'm scared. You are. Because you're scary. Because you're scary. Victoria Posh Spice is here too, and so is Jerry Ginger Spice. I heard Jerry was gay in the house. Why don't you get dressed up in costumes and jump around? Our costumes are to be cute. That's what we do. We get cute and then we sing and everybody loves us. Do they have spice or no spice? What was that? Do they have spice? No. Everything has spice. We are the spiciest spice girls ever. Spice girls? What? Spice girls? Spicy everywhere. I wasn't talking about spice. I was talking about spice. You know, like pointy out my eye. Do you like Transformers? I yes. love them. You do? Yeah. Do you play with those? 777 2137. Call now. A couple years ago, I had a date with an older guy. He was picking me up in his car, which was very exciting. I got all dressed up and waited till I heard a beep outside. Then I, I ran downstairs and went to find two of his mates. In the back seat. I thought we were going out for a romantic dinner, but we all ended up in a pub. That was fun too. Where I am now is absolute proof that if you really want something bad enough, you can get it. One of the Spice Girls just sat down. Spice Girls just sat down. Seven 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 two one three seven to talk to the Spice Girls. Give us a call if you're on campus. 
extension 2137. When I see someone I like, I just go up to him. First a bit of eye contact to check out if he's looking at me. Then I go in for the kill. Uh, how can you tell if I'm looking at you if you can't see me? I can, I'm, I can see everything. But you didn't look in that tree last night. If you have gone crazy while listening to this show, call 777-213. Ask for Mike. Tell him he's a schmuck. He's ruining the great reputation of this show and this station, but we love him anyway. This show is wonderful. The name of the show is Spice Girls. Spice Girls Rock. Spice I should like to know that none of us Barney. have any boyfriends, so we're all available. Rock on, Barney. I mean, Spice Girls. Hey! What? Barney. Who's Barney? Who's Barney? What do you mean who's Barney? You know that big purple stupid looking dinosaur? You tell me you don't know who Barney is? I know who Barney is. Alright, let's stay on topic here. This is a show about Spice Girls, King hey, Diamond, I'm asking these stupid no Spice Girls if they know about that That's stupid right, purple DJ dinosaur. We don't care about Barney, it's all about the Spice Girls right now. But you didn't see him checking you out the other night? A lot so of people you checked me out. A lot of people check me out. I can't see everything. You and your imaginary friends, I don't know. If a guy I like is shy, I'll jump on and him. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Actually, I'm more the likely to do it in a cheeky way. We're going to ask way. you some really witty questions. If you think that you know the answer, call us up at 777-2137. What or is the phone number we just gave? if you are one of the unlucky souls to live here on the SUNY campus, feel special and only dial 2137. Then, we'll put you on hold and please don't swear. If you answer a question correctly, then you can ask us up to three questions. For each question that you get right, or if one of your questions stumps us, the panel, you get a point. The winner at the end of each night gets wins a, a date with a space girl. Happy prize. Good luck. luck. And don't say that we I only want to date Barney. You. We have someone here who wants to win a date with a Spice Girl. Tell us where you would take your Spice Girl on your date. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I, I can't say that on radio. Come on. Uh, I take him to the sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number one, what would you do with a Spice Girl if you could take her out on a date? Well, first I'd uh, open up my car door and throw her on the side of the highway, leave her for dead. All right, that's enough. This is a show about the Spice Girls. Hey, I really appreciate that. Girls. See, that reminds what? me of a popular Spice Girl joke. How does the Spice Girls turn on the light in the morning? Does anyone know the answer to this one? Turn the keys? By asking the, the other Spice door. Girls to help her with it. <laughs> How many Spice Girls does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They have their publicists do it. As a caution to our listeners, the following program may contain language or material that may be considered offensive. The views expressed do not necessarily... If you want to tell me what you want, what you really, really want, give me a call at 777-2137. You can talk to a Spice Girl. Even if you don't know what you want, you can still talk to I want to know what you want. 2137 if you're on campus. If you're on campus, you should just come by. I don't recommend that. <laughs> They might get Does a little scared. Does the sight of small animals tied to heavy machinery make you sweat? Do ads for tapes about war and death make you alert in the lower region? Whips, chains, and flaming nuns water skis? That's where your number one has decided that so, none of the Spice Girls are worth it, so I'm going to leave now. What? That, we'll How can you even say that? We're all worth it. Party, 
our esteemed panel of future blue-collar entrepreneurs. Toasted. You're no, I love it loser, because man. it gives me ammunition. If anybody tries to bother me, I just turn into scary spice. Stupid childish things, like when some little kid says, Just call at 777-2137 to talk to really Spice Girls me. or... <laughs> Anyone out there who wants to know how you can reach the, the awesome level that we are at in our lives right now, as in being a Spice Girl, which is perfection itself, where I am now is absolute proof that you really want something bad enough, you can get it. Sometimes I get in a roll and head to the gym for a couple of weeks, but I'd rather go out and have a bit of a boogie with a friend. wants me for a spice girl to shine for him each day in every way try to please him at home at school and as a spice girl a sunbeam a spice girl Spice Girl A sunbeam A sunbeam I'll be a Spice Girl today <laughs> I will ask Jesus to help me to keep my heart from <laughs> I'm totally a friend, and I say what everyone else is thinking. I wouldn't change a thing about it. This is me. I don't love my body or hate it. It's just my body. If you want to be my lover, you don't have to have a particular hate to be sexy. Sex is all in how you feel about yourself. Girl power, man. It's a vibe. A feeling of liberation and the freedom to be whatever you like. Spice girls out of here. Yeah, they run and catch the plane. They have very important meetings. Yeah, very important. I always make sure I embarrass the others before they can embarrass me. I always wanted to be a dancer, but I've always wanted to be into football. You guys call it soccer. Because everywhere of where I'm from, everyone in Liv from Liverpool loves football. And ballet and football aren't all that different, except, you know, you don't batter at the ballet dancers around. It's so funny, oh, it's so cool. There's a lot of skill involved in both. <laughs> like to play something for you from our sponsor right now to you know give you a little bit of a you know an advertisement here my love box blue ain't blue it's brown my nestle quick just makes me slow when my spark and cider box shine my can of sharks is dull hello this is ricardo montalban often spend millions of dollars to secure celebrity endorsements. But commercial campaigns can be wiped out overnight if a celebrity says the wrong thing or their image changes. Everyone's trying to change their image to be more like a spice girl. When your face is plastered across as many magazines as ours have been, everyone wants to be you. We know we have all the 10-year-old girls in America after us. Hey, someone give us a call. We're waiting to hear from you. 777 
777-2137, you want to talk to the Spice Girl? Or even if you have a request, and if you're nice to us and you say the right thing, you might play it. So tell us what you want, what you really, really want. It's that last... You need a Pepsi? Uh, one foot, I call it, in the supermarket, where that, that one foot between your hand reaching this direction or that direction it is an emotional one. Spice Girl, the chase of a new generation. The bonding you want to get. Uh, one foot, a couple of years ago, I had a date with an older guy. Foot, he was picking me up in his car, which is very exciting. Cut. Normally, the guys they date, they just like ride bicycles and stuff. I got all dressed up and waited until I heard a beep outside because the people I date obviously aren't going to come to the door. And then I ran downstairs, only to find two of his mates in the back seat. What did he think that we were going to do? I thought we were going out for a romantic dinner, but we all ended up at the pub. And then we were drinking, and there are three of them. Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Feel good about Pepsi, Pepsi, Pepsi. Feel good about Pepsi. You're on the air. And that's why I'm. Hello, you're on the air. You there? Yeah, we're here. Oh, am I the first caller? No. Okay, sorry. I got a question about your song. What? In that one song that you were just playing? Yeah. Did you want to be my lover? Yeah. Uh, what about my past? Yeah. So what are you trying to say? That, like, you know what you're trying to say. Like, total ho. What? I forget about my past. What do you mean? Like I have to forget about all the guys you slept with? Uh, yeah, that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> then you probably wouldn't want to be there? my lover or any of the Spice Girls lovers. Spice Girls. How do you think we got this far in the business? All right. Publicist is having a nightmare. Um, it's really a, a deeper meaning than what you know you, you think. You know, I want you to forget my past. Forget my past is like letting go. Just letting go of all the things that hold you back. Let them go. Just let it go. Just go. Okay. What about baby spice? What about baby spice? I'm here. No. Oh, your baby spice? Oh yeah. So. If we like Baby Spice and think she's like sexy. Well, I used to be quite worried because I have a, a real womanly body. But now I think, that's me. I'm going to flaunt my curves. But then, what if people like you? I mean, does that make them pedophiles because you're a Baby Spice? <laughs> I've got quite a young face, like lots of girls do. And too much makeup can make me look a bit like a dolly. So when I wear lipstick, I often don't wear eye makeup. Or I wear eye makeup and no lipstick. You don't have to go mad, just little bits here and there. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Now, what about this whole girl power thing? Girl power. Yeah. What about women power? Because girl is a derogatory term, and it but, means like little girls. And if you're trying to be important, you should say women power. We don't want to insult all the women in the world by saying women power. Besides, no, we know the only people that like us are preteens. Okay, I think that's all the questions I have. It's a vibe, a it's feeling a of liberation, and the freedom to be whatever you like. That's what girl power is. Oh, that's, oh, okay. Anybody else with questions, give us a call at 777-2137. Talk to the Spice Girl. We're on campus, just extension 2137. Do you have any more questions? Give us a call, 777-2137. All the Spice Girls are here, ready and willing to answer any of your questions. That's 777-2137. Or if you're on campus, extension 2137, you can talk to the Spice Girls. I ran out onto the stage in Japan, thinking the other girls were just behind me. I was shouting, hi, Tokyo! And I turned around and looked, and I was totally alone. We don't think this is an appropriate That's deep, vehicle for our That's clients totally advertising. Deep. Hyper real. Making destruction Did you see us on MTV the, the other the night? We were wearing skimpy clothing and torturing place. Kurt Loda. Oh, it was so fun. My white baby doll dress. It goes with everything, and it's comfortable, and it's cool. Uh, I don't want to 
really follow the ads that much. It's uh, more that uh, it's like I've heard it in the, on the news, on TV. I've heard it on, uh, all on uh, the news I and like the radio. I like to think that I've got a little bit of all the others right in me the, because I've learned so much from every single by, uh, one of them. Coke. Such yeah. as not to buy that $1,000 jacket when you get it for $2. Like even Pepsi is putting Coke Actually, they have a blood pack. Nobody really knows this, but they, they, the five of them, the five, right? The five of them were at the five corners of the pentagram as they all drank each other's blood. Yeah, we were singing at the time, too. You should hear their yeah. first album. They're like all double core and stuff. They're all talking about how they're going to kill everybody and just die. And then they kind of chilled out a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, we wanted to try to make ourselves a bit more like accessible to everybody. Spice Girls. What about Pepsi? Spice Girls. But didn't the Spice Girls do an ad for Pepsi? Yeah. What about Pepsi? Generation Next, baby. That's where it is. Yeah, I'm one of the Spice Girls, and I'm really serious here. I am one of the Spice Girls, and we love Pepsi. You should go out and drink it all the time. In fact, that should be the only thing you drink. Your bodily fluids should stop being water. It should be Pepsi. We love Pepsi. Generation Next, baby. Oh, yeah. Girl power. Pepsi power. I, I, I'll tell you. That's what you want. It's called 777 Girl power equals Pepsi power. It's a vibe, a feeling of liberation, and the freedom to be whatever you like. I tell him, I just say, I really like you, and that's it. 85% start screaming. 85% start screaming. I'd like to say that in the past six months, you've really matured as musicians. We're really, really proud of our advancements. You're really going to dig our next album. It's going to be so much different. We're going to totally new vein. It's kind of like this heavy, hardcore snob stuff. It's really special. Coca-Cola has made a marketing mistake. Bring back the gold coat. They're bringing back coat. Two coats. Give us a call, 777 2137. Coca Cola Classic. This is a Spice Girls publicist. So if anyone has any more questions about what the lyrics mean, talk to me, not to the Spice Girls. The Spice Girls may not answer any questions about the content. Thank you. Yeah, we can. We'd be happy to tell you about what kind of clothes we like to wear and what kind of perfume we do and how we do our hair. It's really cool. You listen to WHRW Also, we'd be happy to tell you about all of our lame date stories and personal information about our relationships with other people. Just call at 777-2137 or on campus extension 2137 and we'll get you in contact with the Spice Girl. You can win your own. Win your own Spice Girl. Everyone needs one. We have extras in the cloning beds right now. You guys know we are from England, and that's where they clone people. First the sheep, then the Spice Girls. Dolly's going to be joining the group soon. Really, the uh, genetic code for a sheep isn't too much different than that of a Spice Girl. Sometimes, when I'm really getting into it, I like to make a sound like a sheep. Yeah, like I'm jumping up and down on stage and I look over at her and she's just like, bah. I mean, it's just so cool. I really get into it. It's girl power. It's connection. It's connection we have through sheep. Better living through sheep. It's like a vibe. Well, I'm independent research firm. Just tell me taste test. Recently, Pepsi went up against Coca-Cola in side-by-side blind taste test. 777-2137 to talk to the Spice Girl. We also like Hanson. You should really listen to Hanson because they're going to be opening for us soon. We like to take advantage of them because they're too young to know any better. Zach is the cutest man. And he really knows how to do that little dance that gets me going. We have private parties. Just us and Hanson. One's getting a little too old for us now, though. He's not into our music anymore. It is a problem.
Yeah, one of the early Spice Girl recordings. That in the Bible it talks about the, the Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. Jesus loves the Spice Girls. He does. That I might from sin be free. Bled and died upon the Girl power tree. equals Christ power. Yes. Spice Girls love me. Yes. Spice Girls love me. And don't you ever forget it. Call at 777-2137 to talk to Marcy or the Spice Girl. If you want to beat my mother, you got to beat them. Call at 777-2137. The phones are ringing off the hook. We really want to talk to you. Very soon, we're going to be out of here. You're never going to have this opportunity again. So give us a call. 777-2137. We haven't had dreams about that number tonight. You want to do a little acoustic number here for everybody since we're only going to be in town one night? No? Okay, good. No, I don't. <laughs>